Hey guys, welcome to our high tech institution YouTube channel. Um, in this session, we're gonna see how EFS works and how we're gonna access that, and uh, what is the difference between this EFS and uh, S3 bucket. Okay, those things we're gonna see practically. So, yeah, let's get into the topic. Before to uh, know about the EFS. First, what I'll do, I'm just going to create a instances, okay, which is mandatory to access an EFS. So I'm just giving a name it like EF my VMs. This is my VM name, and I'm just going to create two VMs. And this time I'm just taking Ubuntu. If you are comfortable with any other Linux machine means, which is also fine. And I'm just taking this key which I created earlier and this HTTP HTTPS is not required but I'm just going to add it here okay looks good we can launch it okay this one got launched so let's get into the net first of all what is NS NSF see what is NSF Sorry, it's just um, NFS network file uh, share. Clicks, um, you know, I, okay, it's a name issue. It's NS, NFS hmm? network file share. See, this network file share um, would literally have a file system. So, if multiple people wanted to access that file system, means those people should belong to the uh, one specific network. In that time only, they can access the file system. Okay. So, that file system that EFS we're going to see in this AWS. Okay. But in AWS, they have a naming convention called Elastic File System. Okay. The same NFS they applied in this AWS infrastructure. Okay. So to configure the EFS, we should to configure the file system, we should go with this service, Elastic File System Service. That itself we can create it. And also they are providing multiple um, mount targets. Okay. So these targets and all would literally helps to helps VMs to access the server with that destination point. See, I have a server uh, servers. Which is available on multiple availabilities zone means they this EFS literally providing multiple mount 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 targets. Okay, for example, per uh, availability zone, this file system providing the mounting targets. Okay, using mount targets, this VM can access the file system. Multiple VMs can access the same file system. Okay, so let me show you how we can. Um, create the EFS. Okay, so I'm just going to create EFS on North Virginia, and then the important thing is I'm just going to create that EFS in the same availability zone to avoid the latency. Um, first, I'm just changing the VM name. Okay, so now I'm just going to create a file system. File system one. Okay, if you want to customize means you can do it here. So that customization means nothing but the network uh, network uh, change and uh, which is going to be available on uh, zone based. Uh, to switch a security group those things and all you can do that after the creation also you can do see um, and then the main important thing is according to the usage of uh, elastic file system you would get the billing so that's the advantage here and yeah so fine these are all in the creation state so we need to wait for some time um, meantime We'll take the in AWS console itself. We can access the server. So I'm just uh, connecting this.
okay games so first i'm switching it into sudo and now i'm just updating the apt module and also see this image if we want to access the file system we should have the N N nfs client okay network file share client so that we need to configure here apt get install oh sorry nfs hmm. Give me a minute, let me change this. Um, yeah, so we have configured the NS, uh, NFS client. Um, now we need to know it's a time to access the file system. See, if we want to access the server, there we have an endpoint, right? Similarly, this Elastic file system also have an endpoint. So go inside. This is the endpoint. Okay, this is the DNS name. This one is giving. And the main important thing is you should have the, you should follow the network uh, file system in your virtual machine. Okay, you should allow the NFS protocol in your VM security group. So what I'll do, I'll just go inside. So and then add the root. So just search it like NFS and I'm just allowing my IP or any IP. Um, but this time I'm just allowing my IP. Then save the rule here. That's it. And also, the important thing is both VMs are using the same security. Okay, so that I don't want to follow separately to this VM. See here also the rule got updated. Okay, because both are using the same security. Fine. And then this EFS also should use the same security. Or else that uh, port allow we should do here. See currently this one is using this default security group. So what I'll do, I'm just going to switch that security. Launch is that six is our uh, actual security group name. I'm just going to switch it. launch wizard 6 hmm. this one okay i'm just allowing this launch wizard 6 in this us east uh, hyphen 1a mount target because i'm not going to access via this us east 1b 1c 1d because that i'm getting the latency so and also your vm should be in this availability zones so that you can access it okay i'm just going to access we are availability zone 1a because my vm also in the same zone that's the reason and you know one more time we'll check it okay which is on us list icon 1a so yeah this vm also being the us list one so i just switch to the security group then here we can save that that's it Okay, we have saved. So now it's a time to access the file system. See, you can access that endpoint, that DNS domain name to access the NFS client, or else if you are comfortable with uh, 
uh, IP based connection means you can go with this. Okay, so I'm just going to do this IP based one. Okay, if you're gonna change this availability zone, this IP also would change. Okay, for availability zone, they are maintaining the IPs. So I'm just copying this. And before that, here we need to create a directory. So I'm just creating a directory. EFS. EFS directory we need to create here. Okay, I'm just placing this. So let's hit enter. So this is the command. So we'll wait for it. This one will take some time. Okay, and this mount icon P, this one is not coming. So what I'll do, I'm just switching this IP um, because you know the EF is also using the same thing. So what I'll do, I'm just switching it into all IPs. Let's mount now. This time, this one should work. See, now it's work. So I just give ls efs is there. Um, instead of efs, I'm just going to create some files. So using touch command, I'm just going to create something inside. Um, sample dot py and my file dot txt like that i have created two files inside um i'm just going to check them okay which is with these two files got reflected inside of the fsm so what i'll do and this time i'm just going to connect with this vm sorry um here i have connected with the my vm only. so now i'm just going to connect with my vm too Okay, let's connect it. Okay, let's do the same thing again. Slow so clear it. APT get pop it. It's going to complete. So now we can install the NFS client. Okay, so I'm just going to copy the same. URL. Okay, I'm just giving a list. So far in this location, I don't have any um, directory called DFS. So now I'm just going to connect with that. Oh, sorry. Actually, here we don't have any directory. So I'm just creating a directory called DFS. So let's execute that. See, I'm just switching that into this EFS directory. So let me check. See, that two file got reflected here. Because you know, in this in this EFS, we placing the files, we just accessing via VMs. See here also I can find the same file. And if I'm going to update anything here, means that would reflect that. Uh, I'm just creating one directory inside. Um, I tech. I'm just creating one directory here. 
let's give ls so go and check the ls again see that directory got updated okay so if we want to access the network file share this is the way and coming to the s3 s3 uh, would literally works in the basis of client server architecture okay one is uh, if, if you created a bucket there if you place some file means you can be anywhere in the world you can access the data but in nfs you should uh, you should use the virtual server to access that the respective thing which you placed inside of this ems say um, go to the s3 there we can create a bucket and there uh, some interesting things are there and also we can do the uh, you know static web hosting like so many things will come but this time i'm just going to create a sample s3 bucket So I'm just going to uh, put some files inside. Then up here. Okay, so you can be any anywhere in the world using this object. Using this object URL, you can access it. But you know, uh, we should allow the public access. So then only this object URL. Say for example, if I'm going to uh, uh, put this here means I'm just getting it like access here. Okay, because so far whenever you're gonna upload, update any files in that S3 bucket, that will be in uh, private state. So that we need to change. So first we need to update the block public access. First we need to uh, uncheck this option. And then we need to enable the access control list here. Just scroll here. Uh, but you know, I couldn't uh, update because currently um, it's in bucket owner and post that we need to update it into AC. Just save the changes, and now you can find this edit option. Here we can provide the read permission. Okay, we can we cannot provide the write permission. We use public. Okay, I have updated and if I'm going to hit refresh, still I'm getting the same. Okay, so just before we updated the rules, those rules we need to apply to our objects. So go and update it. That's it. So now we can hit refresh. We can access the file anywhere in the world. Okay, so this EFS can accessible by virtual machines. But this uh, files can accessible uh, by any system. It can be a mobile or it can be a PC, it can be a laptop. Anything can access the data. Okay, because this would work on client server architecture. This also would work like that, but this one would be available on one particular network. Okay, so yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope this video helps you. I'll see you in the next um, interesting topic. Thank you, everyone. See you in the next video. Bye.